Hello, Neverville. We're going to talk about the real estate market report for the month of March 2022. Or 2023, pardon me, I'm a year behind. What's going on? Uh, yeah, talk about the real estate market. We're going to look at what the sales were in March as well as the previous two months. And as you can see from the graph here, we're going to do this month by month throughout the year. And uh, as we're taking a look at it here, you can see there were actually 10 sales in March in 2023. 37 active listings, giving you 3.7 months of inventory. And what's a month of inventory? you're going to ask well zero to four months of inventory is a seller's market and a month of inventory is a metric to determine the liquidity of any real estate market so your zero to four months seller's market four to six months is a balanced market beyond six months is a buyer's market so it was showing a buyer's market in february and a buyer's market and a balanced market in january but you need to have more than just three months worth or, or go month by month to determine what the month of inventory is or the liquidity of, of a real estate Real estate market and that's why if you were a buyer or seller we'd be looking at uh, six to 12 months worth of data and uh, would give you a better average uh, sale price and all of that even though our sale prices are are very consistent here out of the uh, out of the 19 homes that have sold you know out of the five average was 470 out of the four average was 417 and other 10 sold was 464 so you could say that 464 to 470 that's a really good average range in there days on the market showing at 22 8 and 17. now we're also going to take a look at the previous five years uh what happened in march so i'm gonna pop through a couple of slides here and this is what it looks like here now surprisingly we're seeing something a little bit different in the uh, city of Winnipeg. We're usually seeing that 2022 numbers were much higher, but not the case here. Uh, and then we're also usually seeing that 2021 and 2023 numbers were very close to each other. So interesting trend there. Uh, seeing that in March of 2020, in most areas, it did dip down. We know that was the, uh, the start of the great pause there. So we saw a little bit of pullback, not as many homes that sold there. Uh, but as we get into April and May numbers and stuff like that, you're going to see that number is higher actually may 2022 was the highest um, record sales for single detached homes in winnipeg and we saw a decrease after may all the way till march of this year we saw an increase so that's what's looking like for uh, neverville for the previous five years that's what it's looking like for the last three months are you a buyer you a seller what information do you want what would you like how can we help you that's what we're here for if you like our real estate uh, information we're providing uh, give us some love on social media subscribe to our youtube channel follow us on instagram uh, like us on Facebook or give us a Google review. Google reviews help us help other people. I want to thank you for watching. Tune in again next month for our next monthly report. And if you have any questions along the way, just reach out to us. We'd love to chat with you.